right. Um, so we're going to do a rapid fire wrap up uh, because <laughs> much like the sessions we just did, oops, just did. Um, we just, uh, so yes, thank you for everyone for coming through. Um, I know that was quick. I, I know from the rooms that I was in and the conversations I uh, had the privilege of, of, of listening in on um, that everyone would like to talk more on, on these issues. And that is really what we were hoping for. Um, so perhaps not doing quite enough justice to any one conversation today, uh, but what we really want to do is start longer term conversations. Um, so I am going to quickly just talk through what, you know, everything we discussed so that you all know um, the ones you didn't participate in, you'll have access to recordings later. Um, and once again, if you are interested in future conversations, if you're interested in connecting to strategy implementation more broadly, please, um, you know, give us your contact in the in the Google form that's been floating around. Um, let us know which priorities you're interested in and we'll carry that forward. So while I walk this through, I think there's a poll somewhere in, in the chat. Um, I'll be sharing like it in just a moment, Leah. Perfect. Um, and what it's asking you is you've been in part of a lot of conversations today um, and a lot of uh, discussions on um, you know different actions that the Alliance can work on. But at the end of the day, the Alliance is a member network and we are all part of those members uh, in different ways, whether individually or part of organizations. And so um, what action can you take forward in your work? Have you been inspired today by any of these conversations? Is there something that you're like, you know what, we need to do better on this and I'm gonna do this within my job or push it within my organization. We all have different ways that we can take action. So what is uh, the one action based on the discussions you participated in today that you can carry forward? Um, so while that scroll is happening, um, and actually I think I won't even, I have slides, but I won't use them so that you can look at this. Is that right, um, Kat? Because if I share my slides, they can't see the poll answers, can they? Um, uh, that's correct. So if you want um, okay. to, yeah. to have the poll answers up for a few moments, and then maybe we can switch to your slides. You know, what, let's do it the other way around. Let's give people okay. a chance to answer and reflect. And meanwhile, I will talk through. Um, so we started today with um, the introduction and the really fantastic panel discussion with William, with Tasha and with Allison um, around the centrality of children and their protection. And this is our overarching goal in the strategy. So you're starting to see the strategy build and how everything fits in it. Um, that child protection and children and their protection needs are recognized as essential and life-saving. We know that recognition is there. It's been hard fought, but it needs to be broader. It needs to be stronger across the whole system. Um, we then had rooms for each of the priorities. So on the accountability to children, there was one discussion that looked at the IAC guidelines about working for and with young people um, and, and looking at um, how that you know, is similar and different in disaster contexts and refugee contexts. Um, Afterwards, assuming my slides move, <laughs> there were two other conversations, um, one about supporting accountability to children through um, child-friendly reporting and feedback mechanisms, uh, and the one that I just came out of, accountability for children uh, um, affected by armed conflict. Uh, and we really started some really good conversation there. I think that will produce a lot of action. And if you're on the advocacy working group, we have all sorts of things coming your way out of this discussion. Um, then we have a strategy, uh, strategic priority two around localization and transforming how child protection works. Um, the first conversation was around direct and flexible funding and even we'll pitch in some long-term funding conversations came up there. A whole bunch of different ideas and actions about what the Alliance can do to advocate and, and, and support, uh, you know, whether that's through learning and development, coming back to the idea that that's the elevated core function this year, uh, this strategy rather, um, around supporting community and local and national organizations to access direct funding, for that funding to be flexible, and that's a point for all child protection actors, and for that funding uh, to be longer term, because our programs, our services, and our goals really do require that. Um, in the second part, they talked about leadership, decision, and governance. Um, this is a bit more specific to the Alliance, how the Alliance can increase participation of community, local and national actors, um, their access to leadership, their influence in decision-making processes. And this comes back to the goal and the idea of transforming how the sector works means really changing and transforming how we all work and how we share and transfer power um, and, and, and influence and opportunity. And like I said, this is rapid fire. <laughs> Strategic priority three, 
on multi-sector and integrated programming. Um, they started out in, in a split conversation, one with child protection and education actors, uh, the coordination, the technical, all coming together. There's a lot of partnership between our two sectors. Where can we take it going forward? What, you know, what do we still need to push on? Where are the opportunities? Um, at the same time, there was a conversation um, being led by our CPMS working group and the work that they're doing on working across sectors and uh, sort of uh, operationalizing pillar four of the standards, um, which really will feed into this um, priority uh, in terms of working with other sectors, uh, ensuring that they better understand us and we better understand them and that we are speaking in shared language so that we can actually work together for children. Um, and then uh, I don't have a slide for the protection sector conversation just happened, I apologize, but there was a section, <laughs> a discussion on how to strengthen collaboration across the protection sectors. Um, finally, prevention, uh, prevention, our theme of the week um, and, and something that we all know is essential and fundamental to actually um, creating uh, communities, healthy uh, communities for children to, to thrive and for their well-being. Um, to thrive. And so first conversation on strategies and approaches um, and what uh, more the Alliance can do there, um, especially looking at uh, identifying risk factors uh, and, sorry, and protective factors in humanitarian settings and how the Alliance should move forward in this work. And then the second conversation looking a bit more at evidence, learning and knowledge generation, um, talking about, uh, you know, the cost effectiveness of primary program prevention programming. How do we support that? How do we prove that? How do we ensure that people are taking that on? Um, I know I did not do any of those conversations justice with this very quick wrap up, but if you are interested, we have recordings, we will have notes, there's a lot of information, um, and so that will be accessible afterwards. And these conversations, like I said, they're not, um, they're not an end point, they are a starting point. I hope, uh, if anything, today we have shown that, you know, we started these conversations last year and we took on what was shared and we we worked with it for a year um, and now the intention is we're doing this again we're taking on today there's been a starting point of a lot of conversations these are going to continue and this strategy um, which will last for five years uh, will need everyone's collective support um, and work to to be realized um i don't even remember what my next slide is uh okay now 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 we can go um to the to the poll result um cat uh, how are we doing for time? Great. So what action can all of you take? Um, I hope you've had a chance to reflect. That poll will stay open. So, I mean, it's not like an instant reflection is required, but. Um, um, and sorry, Lael, the, the poll's actually just on the wrong slide. So apologies okay. to everyone that had tried <laughs> um, to do the poll already. It's just Julie that has access to it. Has so it I just. On? Okay. Uh, no, they, they can't move on. <laughs> so okay. they're just, uh, Julie's just switching the Mentimeter to the correct side now. It's It's been on the, uh, Lael, I'm sorry, it was your Mentimeter. Do you want to try sharing? Okay. I'm sorry, because I guess it's it oh, just no, not working because I've been on the I'm first so one and it's just not. I forgot. I was the one that. Uh, <laughs> did this. All right. Well, okay, let's just go to the next one anyways. So right now, um, for those of you who were last year, you might recall we ended on um, we ended on a poll asking, you know, all the areas we talked about today, which ones do you think should be prioritized? So we've been talking about these areas today, the priorities, um, as well as the centrality of children and their protection. Uh, and we recognize we have been talking about them without you having actually seen the strategy. And so, A, thank you for engaging with us um, in, in sort of a bubble uh, without yet knowing uh, the substance that we're contributing to. Um, but hopefully we have created some uh, excitement and I will use that word, not just interest, but excitement around these priorities, around seeing what's in that document, around seeing how we can work on it together. So um, just a little bit of a fun poll uh, to sort of help conclude. Amanda, I see your hand going up. Is that like literally a hand? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> we, we can't see it yet. I'm sorry. I really want to oh ask. God. Is this because I think, I'm doing something I wrong? think, yeah, Leal, you ha you physically have to be clicked onto the correct side that you want them to I be am. answering. Oh, you are, because it's when I click on the link, it's only showing the welcome and everyone is very lovely. Uh, oh, actually, try it now, everyone. Try the link now. I do see it now. Can we get some thumbs up, some reactions? Whoops, whoops. Uh, <laughs> if we can see it. Yeah, okay. It's working now, Leal. Okay, so sorry. We'll give, every, we'll give everyone a second to uh, to answer it. Apologies, everyone. This is what happens when we don't have breaks between <laughs> between things and just come at it facilitating into this. Um, do I need to share the, the voting results page? 
yeah, uh, yeah. So when you're um, in your Mentimeter, what you can see, if you sh present that screen, that should be the correct one. There we are. Woohoo! Right. So <laughs> I, I, this, I initially it was a pick one, but then I felt like it was asking, you know, a parent, which child do you love the most? So, <laughs> in order to avoid that kind of, uh, you know, unfairness, um, please pick two. Which two areas in the strategy. So the overarching goal and then the four priorities. Um, are you most interested in sort of carrying forward and working on, uh, excited even to maybe read? I know uh, we in child protection lack for reports to read. I know you all just sit around thinking, I wish I had more to read. Um, but if you were gonna pick up two or three pages of the strategy, where would it be? Um, and if you wanted to continue working on any of these areas, where would that be? So we'll just give you a chance to to have fun then we can all see these very zen soft pastel colors going um and then i can see some notes people saying it's difficult to choose i know i know that's why i put two it was initially one and i was like e, you know <laughs> i'll let you pick two um and so that's just a little bit of a fun exercise um again if you genuinely want some follow-up on any of these areas or all of these areas and would like to contribute to that, um, you've got the Google form. I've said it a million times, so I'll stop saying it now. And then we have a very nice surprise to conclude on uh, once, once people have filled this out. So I see there's 112 of us in the room and 34 who have answered the poll. So I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer. And, uh, okay, so while people, so it's, I mean, not surprisingly, perhaps a bit of a close tie uh, with the middle sections. I'm sure more answers will come. Um, so one more minute, and then we're gonna, we're gonna switch to our final activity. Do, do, do. Have we stopped? 35 people have voted. I am gonna take that to mean that everyone is so torn about which ones they want to vote on that you're unable to actually just pick two. And that's why the other you know, 80 people haven't voted yet. Um, that's, I will choose to interpret it that way. <laughs> um, now just take your time. Uh, but what we are going to do now while people are putting on a little bit more, so you can see localization, not surprisingly, uh, a very popular subject uh, and the multi-sector and the accountability and the prevention. This very much reflects how we started last year, to be honest. Um, what we are going to do with you now, um, if you look in, so I'm gonna stop sharing. I think I'm gonna stop sharing my screen for a moment. Um, we've been talking about the strategy all day. Uh, we mentioned the clarion call, which is actually uh, part of the title. And there is a section that does outline a clarion call um, along with all the details on these priorities we've been talking about. So we thought to conclude this day, um, to thank you all for being here with us and hopefully to, um, to feed into some of the uh, interest that has been generated, uh, we are going to launch the strategy live together. So, <laughs> and some people will dance and some people will cheer, um, but just to start, um, and I'm not actually sure, am I sharing my screen on this or is somebody else sharing their screen on this? If you all look into the chat box, if you can see the chat box. Yeah, Julie's pointing at herself, just a heads up. <laughs> okay. Great, because I can't see her. <laughs> Momentarily. Momentarily in the chat box, you may be able to access this link. <laughs> Did it work? I put the link in the chat box. Uh, okay. Let's just see. Oh, and it's not there. That's so sad. Did we have a tech fail? We music? had exciting I... music and everything. Ah, we had a live tech <laughs> fail. Okay. No worries. I we see can it. Can Do you? you? Yeah. It says here it is the Alliance strategy, and there's not the link. Oh. Does the link actually yes, work? It's Julie? there. It's there. It's there. I just. It's there. It. I'm like, maybe we are crashing. I'm the like, I'm some looking of us at it. Here. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. So for those of you 
who can't see it like me, I'm just going to share my screen with the actual strategy, right. uh, but promising you that shortly online, you will be able to download it for yourselves. Um, let's just do that. I actually can't see it. So it's going to be hard for me to walk everyone through it. Um, Julie, so, you can see it. Do you want to share your screen? Here we go. Am I, I got it. I, I thought it. I was. Oh, there you go. You were, you were sharing the screen. I, I couldn't see it on mine. All right. So if you're on the link and it's, I think maybe we're just too many people trying to access it all at the same time. Um, if you can download it, then you're going to be the first ones to get it. And if you are like me and it's uh, not loading, probably because there's so many of us trying to download it at the same time, uh, I'll just share my screen. Welcome. Uh, we are very, very, very happy to be sharing with you. Um, the uh, the Alliance 2021-2025 strategy uh, in which um, we theme around the centrality of children and their protection at the clarion call. Uh, you will all have lots of time to go through it and lots of time to, to go through. I'm just gonna like quickly, there's a lot of people we wanna thank. So please just take a moment. Um, there were dozens and dozens and dozens of you who contributed at different points of time and we are grateful for that. Um, we start off with, and I just wanna Put in, you know, we talk about children a lot, uh, and we in child protection know that we mean children of all backgrounds and all sorts of um, ages and, and sexual and gender orient identities and orientations and abilities and, and on and on. Um, and sometimes not everyone knows what we mean by that. So we really took the first couple of pages to break that down and explain it. When we say children, we mean all children, and we mean a large diversity of children. Um, and that's really important to us, and that they are all unique, um, and they all have capacities um, and, and abilities to contribute. And um, we thought it was really important to start with that. Uh, so you'll go through the strategy. You will get to, for those who were curious, <laughs> the clarion call, um, where it's a bit of a call to action uh, on all the areas that we've been discussing today. So you will see a lot of shared themes from what we've been saying and what's in the strategy. And then finally, into some parts that start to look familiar, um, you know, poke around with the priorities and the different objectives, um, get to know them, familiarize yourself with them, reach out to us if you wanna uh, help contribute on any of these areas. Um, and we're really looking forward to hearing from everyone and, and working together to implement um, uh, the really uh, ambitious and great things that are listed within this. So uh, thank you to everybody uh, for contributing time from last year through to this year um, for you know, your thoughts, your feedback, um, some of you are going to recognize your words literally from surveys, from consultations. We have taken them on. Um, and uh, just thank you so much to everyone and to the Alliance uh, for, for the hard work. And hopefully, uh, you know, that's just a starting point. Now we implement. And I'm going to say goodbye. But thank you so much, everybody. <laughs>